good morning. Let's uh, fortify ourselves to see what we have today, especially after yesterday. That was a crazy, insane day. I need to look, go look back on the day these girls got bred and see if there was like a blue moon or something because <laughs> that was a lot of views and a lot of lambs. Um, it's kind of chaotic in the barn. I'm going to warn you now. We were just trying to get stuff out of the big pen. And um, we literally have sheep everywhere. But I want to go check on my prolapse U. We tried again last night to put everything in. And uh, what a uh, prolapse harness. Put that on to keep everything in. Um, I have not had good luck with prolapse harnesses. They just don't seem to work very well for me. Um, the U's usually kick them off. Anyway, we'll go check her and then I need to feed my bottle babies, see if there's any new babies, and go check those two that were coming out at the same time that I could not get out to save my life. The one I thought I was pulling, there was a leg and a head, and I thought I was pulling the leg and the head together, but the leg went to the lamb behind and the head went to the first one. Yeah, it was a it was it was kind of a disaster. And so I had to call my husband and say, I need help. I can't get these out. I thought they were dead. Um, it had been from the time I called him to the time he was able to get here was probably 45 minutes. They were alive. That was like the best part of my whole night last night. So I need to go check them. They were doing really good at, what time did we leave last night? 11.45, I think we got back to the house. Um, so we fed them and they were doing really good. Mom was up drinking, eating. So let's go check them and see how they're doing this morning and see if there's babies. Good morning, Patty. How was your night? Were you a good girl? Should we go let your brother out? Poor Dudley didn't get let out all day yesterday. What do we got going here? What are you guys doing? Ned? He is so territorial of this barn. What you doing, Ned? Huh? Not letting Casper in here? Oh, we got babies. Oh, we got some, like, brandy new babies. Okay, Dudley, let's let you out because you didn't get to come out all day yesterday. It was just pretty chaotic. All right, come here. I know, huh? Yeah, there were just too many moms with issues and, and babies outside. Yeah, uh, Casper's right there. There's Casper. There's your buddy. Is it going to run your buddy? Okay. Let's, uh, let's go see the chaos. Pile of bottle babies. And I have a couple moms where they don't belong. Because, um, hello, mama. You got two babies. Look at you. But yeah, dummy me forgot to uh, tie the gate last night. I'm lucky there's only two in here. All right, what else we got? Everybody in here is looking pretty good. We did have a few issues with some lambs. Uh, we had two moms that lambed right next to each other. Two definitely belonged to one, two definitely belonged to the other. The one would only take one, and the other one took all three. We'll see if that's still the case this morning. Good morning. What do we got for babies? Oh, we got a couple over there. Two little peanuts. <gasps> Tofu! Hello, darling, you're a mama! Oh, and they're not black. That's okay. 
they're alive. And then we got two more over here. And there's a mom right there that's looking off a baby. And is that it this morning? Oh, that would be so nice, girls. That would be so nice. Well, good morning. We had to pull this boy. He's huge. I mean, huge. I can't believe she had a second one. So she didn't want anything to do with it. And we didn't, I don't have any jugs to put him in. So we threw him in this stall. Um, and then we kind of heard this noise. And I'm like, oh, shoot. So we came back over and she popped out a second one. That is also very big. No wonder you were struggling, Mama. So we had these two last night. And how's everybody in here this morning? Everybody seems to be okay. So we had a few that were uh, out in the snowstorm last night. We just decided to bring everybody into the barn. Um, I think... Oh, I love these two. And I can't remember if they were boys or girls. Could have been one of each. Good morning, guys. You know, you're looking a little chilly. Mama's stealing your heat. Let's go get you breakfast. Get you back under the heat. <laughs> Hello, Mom. This was a nice surprise. First time, Mama. One, two, three. <laughs> Little baby. Okay, let's go make up bottles because uh, everybody's awake now. You're a peanut. Who's mom? No, sweetie, you belong to the old girl. I'm thinking that other one belongs to Tofu. This one has two right here. And while I was feeding, we had another set of babies. So that's two, four, six, Seven, two, four, six, nine this morning. A lot slower day. I am uh, gonna let my hands warm up. We have an east wind today, which makes it even colder than it actually is. I don't know what it is about an east wind, but it is so much colder than if we have a north, south, or west wind. So um, I have... Let's see, tofu has two lambs that are cold. One keeps wandering off, so I wanna get them in a jug. Uh, the pair that I, that lambed, no. <laughs> the mom that lambed uh, just as I got to the barn this morning, she, I brought her in because she would only clean off one ewe, or one lamb, and then another ewe had lambs uh, while I was bottle feeding and she kept leaving her lambs to go clean those lambs so I needed to separate them. So I think this morning the first thing on my list after I finish feeding, which I just did, is to start cleaning out jugs and tagging, vaccinating, getting stuff into the nursery and then start bringing lambs in. Um, I'm not really sure who is priority. Probably whoever is really cold is priority. Uh, most everybody seems to be doing okay. Uh, like I said, th these two I just separated because she hadn't cleaned off the one lamb. So I want to get them in a jug so that she'll actually accept that lamb. I want to get Tofu and her babies in so that one keeps wandering and she will accept both hers. And then in the long alley, 
I saw one lamb that was kind of huddled up, hunched. Um, I don't like it when they're hunched up. It usually means they're cold. Uh, they aren't getting enough to eat. And I'm not sure who the mom is because we were literally just, as soon as the lambs were dropping, we were taking them and moving them with mom to get them out of the way of the next ones that were lambing last night. It was absolutely insane. We headed to the barn at 10 o'clock. There were, I think there were six lambs on the ground when we let, or when we got there. And before we left, we had a total of 12. So it, they just, and we didn't get back to the house till about quarter to midnight. They just kept coming and coming and coming and coming and coming, which is good because, um, that means we're getting through the breakouts. So when the boys broke down the fence and spent that 24 hours out with the flock, this should be it. Because I think most everything that lambed yesterday uh, did not have the RFID tag, which are the ones that were supposed to have been bred. Um, everybody without one is an oops. So I will spend my day putting new tags in and vaccinating and recording and kicking them out. So let's start there. I am so obsessed and she's doing so good, but he, I do not need another ram. I have no idea. We've never milked her before. This will be her first year. So I don't know what kind of milker she's going to be, but he is by my best ram. And uh, if he doesn't make me a good ram prospect, he will definitely make somebody else one. <laughs> Tofu. Please don't be a crank. One little girl, two little girls. You are just a pest today. She really did not want to follow them. But, uh, they're good ones. They're tiny. Oh my goodness, are they tiny. But she's half Icelandic and half Finn sheep. So I expect her babies to be tiny. You had it. You had it. You were nursing. Yeah. Follow mom. There you go. Okay, come on, Sloppy. Come on. They're right there with you. Come on. Well, hello. Did you give me a baby? I know, I see. Okay, we're gonna leave you in case you're gonna give me another one. Good mama. Mama, you had another baby. So got twins over here. And this mama's got twins, one there and one there already wandering. So we are going to get them in, oh. And there's another baby over here. Where'd you come from? Afternoon's getting busy. She just dropped a second one. Come on, Mama, go to your baby. Yeah, that's your baby. Go to your baby. Oh, first time moms. What you doing, Mama? Gonna have a baby? I think you're gonna have a baby. That would be a baby. So close. Oh. There you go. 
I know, Mama. It's alive, Mom. You just gotta lick her off, or him off. It was a little traumatic. That baby was stuck. I uh, wasn't sure I was gonna get it out. But there you go, good baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, please be a girl. Please be a girl, you're so pretty. Are you a girl? Please be a girl. Oh, you're a boy. I cannot keep a pretty boy. I cannot keep a pretty boy. I don't know that she's got another one in her, but uh, she's been struggling for a while. So I'm just gonna let them hang for a minute and uh, go wash because I did not have time to get gloves or even set up the camera. I went to wash and we got another one. I'm always amazed at the barns where feeding time like goes silent. Not this one. They are probably louder than any other time of the day. I know I'm coming, but before I forget, let's recap what we had today. Set of twins. Another set of twins. Another set of twins. And another set of twins. Another set of twins. And another set of twins. Where's your other one? There he is. And then another set of twins. Where's your other one? There it is. Laying back there. And then a set of twins here. And a set of twins here. Oh no, you had the single. You had a single. And she had a single. And another set of twins. So when they tell you it's really hard to hear yourself think, this is what they're talking about, our days like this. Everybody's unhappy for some reason.